In this video, we're looking at a brand new template called Shape. Now, there are three landing page templates in this series. So we have Shape 1 and Shape 2 and Shape 3. So they're all similar styles, all ready for you to use in your business. Now, let's take a look at this first one here. We've angled them around the fitness niche. And you can take a look at this first. We've got this nice background image of the person on the running machine here. And you'll notice that also has a like a transparent opacity overlaid on the image with a bit of CSS. So we can show you in a second how you can just adjust that and change it if you like. So simple logo at the top, nice big background image, and then we have this headline which stands out inside the white bordered box. That's done with a featured block area, and then we put the headline inside the featured block. I'll show you that as well when we take a look inside. Below that we have a nice bold supporting headline which supports the main headline featured area and then we have that bright colored orangey red call to action. If we click on it, it opens up the call to action bringing the same red color through into the button here. We've got the progress bar and then we've got a little bit of text above that to get people to opt in and give us their name and their email. Now if we start scrolling, the image you see behind is actually fixed. It's using the overall page image so it's the main image on the entire site. And if we keep going down, we can have a look at some of these other sections. We have this one in the middle here, which is using a three column featured block. And we've got the custom icons there as well with the little headline and the text underneath. And we've got a nice big capital headline above that. We've kept that same style throughout the page itself. If we go down to the next section here, you can see we've got a nice headline across the top as well. Lots of white space included around these elements. So they stand out. This section here is a text block area with some little images just to highlight different points rather than having a bullet list. This is sort of a long way bullet list so people can still see the certain features or benefits that you are highlighting in that text. Then below that we've got another column. This is a three column section using images at the top, headlines and then text blocks underneath. You can use that to obviously highlight other features and benefits of your product or your service, whatever you're selling. Below that, we've included the call to action again, stretching all the way across them three columns. So it stands out, click on it, opens up the overlay optimizer again for people to opt in. Using the same styles, we're cloning down that overlay optimizer, cloning it down throughout the page. Now, if we keep scrolling down, you can see the background image is fixed, and now you're seeing the full color background image. So this row doesn't have the opacity overlaid it. And you can see here in the middle, we're using this featured block again, but we've put the opacity inside this featured block. That's done with a bit of CSS. Again, gives a bit of color. This makes the headline obviously easier to read on the full color background image. So if we didn't have this purpley color behind this font, you wouldn't really be able to read the font on the image. Going further down, we've added in another two column row. These are featured blocks again. And then inside the featured blocks, we've included the testimonial elements. So the featured block gives us this nice color and the rounded border. And we can do things with this border itself, putting on different colors or different thickness of the border. And then we've added the other color behind it to make them stand out a little bit more. And then going further down again, we've used another large headline in the box section. Same with the same opacity applied to it. And then the last and final call to action towards the bottom to get your user to opt in and get your offer or take a trial or whatever you're offering. So that is the first, that is shape one, and it's a landing page template, beautifully designed as well. Nice color contrast throughout, so everything complements each other. Let's take a look in the live editor. Okay, so here we are inside the live editor. You can see this first row here and the transparent background CSS is applied here. It's called opacity background and that CSS will be applied inside page settings under the other scripts. So you could play around with that purpley color if you wanted to get a different color. This featured box here with the um, headline in it, if I open up this icon here, the editor, if we go back, it's using the transparent box with no border and color. So what this is, what we've done here, we've used the transparent box and then we've we click on the cogwheel here, we've added a CSS element called white border. So that gives the white border effect to this featured box. Now you probably could still do a featured box with a slight um, color background, have a white border as well. You could play around with that. And then inside this featured box, obviously you can add all the other different elements. We've included the headline and then put in the bit of bold texting. So that's really um, some of the bits I wanted to show. If I just jump down again, and we've got the testimonial section you can see here. Again, this is a featured 
box and inside it we've included the default or one of the default elements for styling testimonials and that shows up inside there as well. And here's another one of those blocks or the headline titles and again we're using that opacity which is applied to the background of this featured box. If I click on the cogwheel you can see here this one's called white border and opacity. So again, these styles are found inside page settings under other scripts and you can play around with the colors and you can get a feel and change them up, maybe use a darker black or even a different sort of tone of purple. So that's how you make any changes. Again, this template is ready in the Clubhouse for you to go and download and you can start using it in your business today. And there's also two other templates in this series which are worth taking a look at.